Many Sudanese nationals have sought refuge in neighboring South Sudan. And for more insight on their plight, I'm joined live via Skype from Juba, South Sudan, by Imke Van Der Honing, South Sudan Country Coordinator for Chorus International, a non-profit humanitarian organization. Mr. Honing, I understand you're having technical issues with the camera, so let's get to it. Tell us about the impact of the war in Sudan on the refugees right where you are in Juba and what you're doing to help them out. That's right. Um, the, the main effect is, of course, that there's a lot of people um, already displaced in South Sudan and more people are coming in to South Sudan. Um, of course, South Sudan is also uh, regularly importing food on, uh, in, in a normal situation, but this time uh, that is even more difficult as uh, one of the major import channels to Sudan is now also closed. Um, the people who are coming into South Sudan, they, uh, most of them arrive in the most remote uh, state, Upper Nile, uh, and have problems finding shelter and transport uh, from there to wherever they should go. So uh, the United Nations is also warning that some countries uh, may slip into starvation levels. What are humanitarian organizations such as yours doing to ensure these refugees do not starve and that they access at least some basic medical care? At uh, the moment, uh, IMA is uh, our partner, uh, IMA World Health, and we are providing uh, emergency health uh, mobile clinic in some of the areas. Um, but also the refugee crisis in South Sudan from the north is that out of the about 100,000 official um, people coming out of uh, Sudan, about 90,000 are returnees, people who, you, who fled the conflict in South Sudan and are now returning. And, so it's, mm -hmm. it's much more difficult. And what are other factors that are contributing to this worrying kind of, you know, alarm that we're hearing from the UN uh, to this food insecurity? Yes, as, as I mentioned, uh, even in a normal situation, South Sudan is importing food that's much more difficult now, and um, the, the the only channel to import food would be to Uganda, and then getting the food all the way up to the northern part of the country um, has been very difficult, and now is even more difficult due to the unsetting rains uh -huh. um, that make road transport almost impossible. So how are you preparing for that? The rainy seasons, of course, this flooding. Uh, how are you preparing to continue helping these refugees during that season? Uh, all, all the aid organizations are working together with UN OCHA and the other uh, organizations, UNHCR, to get as much food as possible toward the areas where it's needed. World Food Program uh, is stepping up and, and um, making sure that the food reaches where it where it took. Mr. Imke, thank you very much for your insight. Imke van der Honing is South Sudan Country Coordinator for Chorus International.